Alright, uh, what's up you guys? Time, it's your boy Emotions, bro, and I'm back with another video. Uh, for the beginning of this video, I apologize. Uh, I didn't expect to put this gameplay in here, but like the comeback was real. Um, so if you hear my boy Fish in the background, bro, he's playing COD, I'm sorry. But anyways, man, let's get to the video, bro. Alright, so weak, he's weak. we it's got shit. another huge fucking problem zone on our hand, bro. I understand that America's in like turmoil and, and bad know, shit's happening with police okay. officer and, and the treatment of black people and all this, that, and the other, right? However, I feel like there's a point when when you, when when white people take uh, white guilt too far, and uh, this has to do with um, one of my favorite fucking shows in the world. Uh, it's called Big Mouth. Um, one of the one of the actors who played Missy, the black girl, who was like. Low key, actually high key. She was like fucking her doll <laughs> in the gymnasium. Um, if you saw it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, the the voice actor for Missy, the biracial like Jewish black girl, uh, she she quit her job, bro. She quit her job because she feels as though that uh, black characters should only be played by black people. And I think she's only doing this because of like what's going on in America right now. Um, yeah, so yes. here, yeah, let me get deeper into it. Let me. I, I I pulled up a little article that she wrote. She posted this on Instagram the other day. Um, hmm. Let me read this real quick. I can't be doing that. All right. So let me read this real quick. I got bursted, bro, I was this is what she posted on Instagram. Bro. This is a statement by her. I've come to the decision today that I can no longer play the character of Missy on the animated TV show Big Mouth. At the start of the show, I reasoned with myself that it was permissible for me to play Missy because her mom is Jewish and white, as am I. But Missy is also no, black, I just and black it. characters ah, I just on animated shows should be played by black people. Ooh, but you left, just acknowledged that she was white. Six? She just acknowledged that she was part white. So at the end of the day, your argument isn't really making oh, sense. But okay, let's continue, right? I acknowledge how my original reasoning was flawed, that it existed as an example of white privilege and unjust allowances made within a system of societal white supremacy, and that in me playing Missy, I was engaging in an act of erasure of black people. <sighs> Ending my portrayal of Missy is one step in a lifelong process of uncovering the racism in my actions. Okay. One. I I'm 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 gonna applaud her for at least trying to this nigga's to be aware of her white privilege and look, and her whiteness. Look, I, I applaud her he's lagging, for trying to move slow. in the right direction, take steps lagging. in the right direction. But however, yeah. this shit right here go, does Yo, not make sense. Like oh shit! Yo, the, comeback, the comeback, the comeback. Y'all saw that. that shit? I'm sorry. Um, back back to it. Um. Yeah, man, it, it doesn't make sense to me, cause she she in her statement she straight up acknowledges that Missy is Jewish, and that Missy is black. But then she says a black character should be played by black people, right? And then she she said her by her playing as a black character, it 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 helps in taking part in the erasure of black people. Bro, trust me, this is an animated show. We're talking fictional characters. We can clearly see that Missy is black, bro. The voice behind a black fictional animated character is not like you in some like, I don't know, some like soul food type barbershop movie and then you're some white actor and then you legit paint yourself black. Like no, like real life acting is for real life black people. Like that, that's what that is made for right so like it's an animated character bro like you're chilling there's 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 no th such thing as a black voice you know what i'm saying so like no one was even like thinking about that now if you were to if you were to do some shit where you, where you did some blackface in a movie all right now we have a problem now you're overstepping boundaries and now you're getting offensive you feel me but playing Missy on Big Mouth, th there's nothing wrong with that. Because cause now, right? 
uh, the creators of Boondocks were, er, no, 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 not the creators of Boondocks. Uh, fuck, I, I, I can't, th I can't think of exactly who I'm trying to get at right now, but like, at the end of the day, it's a, it's an animated character, man. There, there is, there is absolutely, there is absolutely no problem with that. And then her actions, then made one of the creators of a uh, big mouth, Nick Kroll apologize too and, and I'm gonna just read a short statement that he said he said we sincerely apologize for and regret our original decision to cast a white actor to voice a biracial character you guys are making zero sense <laughs> it's a biracial character whether she's white or black she meets the criteria if by your logic she meets the criteria if if a black character shown to be played by a black black people a biracial character should be able to be played by a black or white person, right? That doesn't make sense. And I think that, like, things, little things like this, this is where, like, white guilt is being taken too far. Like, we're, we're searching for every little thing to, like, correct someone on when, in reality, it doesn't even need correcting. Like, it's ridiculous. And I feel bad for this lady because, like, now she just... Like Big Mouth is a is a dope ass show. Like she's missing. She just cut herself out of a great opportunity, a great business plan with an uppercut. Holy shit! Um, and like now I'm gonna have to listen to some weirdo fucking voice Missy. I'm gonna be like, yo, I I know that this shit is not right. This isn't the original. This isn't the original voice actor for Missy. And now it's probably gonna. However, this voice that voice actor comes in. The energy might be different. The 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 energy on screen that we're getting from Missy as a character might be different. You know what I'm saying? Like all because of like white guilt that shouldn't even really like be there right now. <laughs> like it, it's really it's unnecessary white guilt, and I think that one people are too fucking sensitive. Okay, we we gotta stop this bullshit. All right this overly sensitive bullshit now we got people making illogical decisions because they feel bad got people being afraid to be in their own skin however i understand that people have done that to other groups of people for hundreds of years yes i get that however it's not a time to make other people feel bad and like feel feel to the point like like we have to acknowledge that there's a problem here she feels so bad about being white or, or no, no no my bad I didn't mean that. She feels so bad about playing a black, a, a fictional, a fictional black character that is happens to be biracial. That she's just totally ignoring the fact that her character is biracial and that this is a fictional show, and that she's doing this for the entertainment of everyone. Because I, as a black person, love Missy, and I love her voice. She was funny. She's a very funny character. Especially that gymnasium scene, bro. She was literally caught, like, jerking off with her little pet thing. She was humping her her doll. It was funny. In front of everyone. She was dreaming. But, like, like, bro, like, this is, this, this is too much, man. This is way too much. So, like, by this logic, now one of my favorite movie, movie directors, Quentin Tarantino, he, what, does, does the Django Unchained get erased from all of humanity? Like, he's a white guy who created a black character so do our white people are not allowed to create black characters I don't know I feel like if you do the research and if you're truly invested for the right reasons one you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want except for white people saying the n-word that shit will never be okay um but you should be a lot you should be allowed to make great great content this is for people this is for people's entertainment, and it brings awareness to things. However, bringing awareness just because you feel some type of way about a fictional character, I, I don't know, man. This is this is not it. And and like I said before, man, I applaud her for like trying to do better or, or trying to like be aware of her privilege or or whatever that may do for someone, but like this scenario this does this shit does not make sense bro because now you're, you're like you'd have to erase so many like 
so many not only so many characters but so many shows in general because i know I, I can't name anything off the top of my head but like i know there has been a lot a lot a lot of black characters black shows with white people in in leading that shit like like white people leading the creation of that shit so and i know it was pretty damn good like I said, I'm gonna use Quentin every. I'm gonna just use Quentin because he's the one who's coming to the top of my head. The Django Unchained was an amazing fucking movie. Quentin did it right. Quentin even took an extra step to put a little comedy skit about the KKK in there and how fucking stupid those motherfuckers are for thinking that they, what they thought. With the face mask and all that, it was hilarious. So now you're telling me like that that beautiful piece of work, that beautiful piece of art is just doesn't mean shit because Quentin is a white man and he can't fucking make black characters and and make content about black people. I don't know. That shit doesn't make right doesn't sound right. That seems pretty fucking I don't know, close minded. It's close minded to me in in a world that wants to be as progressive as fuck. So I man, I don't know, bro. This is just a problem to me. I, I feel like I feel like white people need to be uh, more aware of like what's what they should truly have white guilt about and like what America sometimes is making people feel like because if I'm being honest bro no one gives a fuck about your feelings we have to stay true to ourselves we gotta be real like her playing a black character is not a big deal it's really not especially a fictional fictional cartoon we, we acknowledge that Missy is black we see it but we also can acknowledge that she's Jewish, if that's your argument. <laughs> Although I, th I personally don't think that it matters. Um, but I don't know, man. Maybe if like the character was like a person, and like your argument was like a black person, and your argument was like, uh, I don't know. Like let's say you're you're like you're making a fictional character about like a real person. And then that real person wanted to be and wanted to play her, their character, but then some white woman was able to take it just because she was white, like on some on some thing like that. Now, see, that's where the problem is. That's a problem. When it's just because the person is white, that there's a problem. When it's just because the person is black, that's a problem. It, it there has to be like other ways of like I don't even know fuck I'm saying anymore man this shit is just it, it's like it's terrible I saw this yesterday saw this post yesterday and I was just like I'm just heartbroken at the end of the day bro I, I love Missy man she was a great character um right now we're looking at a mirror match well that that's that's pretty much what I had to say bro thank you for thank you for tuning in bro hey thank you for fucking with me bro we got we're getting to 84 subscribers on the road to 100 I'm extremely extremely grateful um, yeah, man, it's just been, it's been a fun ride, and I mean, I, people be asking me, like, why am I doing YouTube? I'm doing YouTube because I think I'm nasty at video games, <laughs> and, like, I know some people, like, like video games, like, I don't even watch TV anymore, I just watch, like, I watch video games, bro, that's, that's, that's what I watch, I watch COD, I watch every game there is, God of War, Battlefield, I watch Skullgirls, dbz fighters which i have to get on the channel soon i just don't play it because i my cousin's teaching me the game so like i don't know it's uh I, i'm learning it it's tough the, that game is tough it's a lot to deal with especially uh when when you don't have the time right now but now that i'm a, now i'm out of high school i just got to figure out my college schedule a little bit and and i'll be i'll be on the grind for sure because i enjoy this shit this is like my version of TV, so like this is why I do it. You know, if you feel me, like this shit is really fun. Making these videos really fun because people who watch, I don't fucking know, they like it, man. I don't know, especially that some, some some people start fucking with the COD content first, and then I was just like, I mean, I play more games, and that that's exactly what I want to do. In regards to right now, man, I'm I'm working in uh, Pennsylvania. For my uncle, um, working at McDonald's. This shit's kind of fun. I'm with my with my cousin DJ. 
actually my, my son DJ excuse that 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 has to be on record he is my son undisputed he is my son and yeah man we're just trying to make money out here meeting new people is very fun actually it was very funny the uh, yesterday <laughs> I was uh, working in a drive-thru I was like making drinks you know giving people their food and stuff at McDonald's and these group of ladies pulled up on me or not pulled up on me they pulled up to the drive-thru and uh <laughs> and uh they they um oh why did i try to hit him knowing that i was i was going i should have went low um they called me cute and like as flattering as that was i mean i'm not any i'm not on anything like that bro i just i just went through a breakup uh so like I, i'm not really not really like on that type of energy they were they started asking me for my number so uh i, I told him i was i was 15 <laughs> And I, I just turned 19 on June 17th, and I mean, when they found out I was 15, well, I'm 19, but when they found out I was like 15, they were like, what? Nigga, <laughs> because I, I have a full beard and shit, full mustache, like, my my mustache is low-key Tony Starking to my beard. If you know what that means, bro, it's like connecting, like, my mustache is connecting down to my beard on some Tony Stark shit. I feel like a billionaire. <laughs> But yeah, I was like, nah, uh, I'm sorry, thank you, but I'm 15. Um, and they were like, oh, okay. And I could have told them that I was a Bostonian, so they won't be seeing me ever. So, um, yeah, bro, uh, that was just a little funny story. I told these girls I was 15 when I'm 19, and they were like shook, because I def have like a full ass, not full, but like, I have a beard. Like, no 15 year old is having a beard like this. 15 year old to have peach fuzz <laughs> at most like my son dj he's 18 but he looks like a young boy he has he has peach fuzz like a little bitch no hair having ass bitch so um yeah man i think that's i'm gonna wrap it up for the video uh if you enjoyed it or if you agree comment below if you'd like to uh and if you disagree man fuck it let's argue you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm, I'm open to hearing that shit because it really doesn't, it will it will never make sense to me unless someone makes it make sense to me why this is a problem. What's up, D? So yeah, bro, if you disagree with that shit, bro, let's argue because I'm down for it. All right, it's been your boy Motions, man. Peace. Round two, fight. Finish her! Round one, fight!
fight. Fight! Drop this. <laughs> Round two, fight.
merecer. Aaron Black. Market Alley. Hola, Mrs. Blade Cage. Not that Sonia, asshole. Ain't you the sweet talker? Round one, fight. <laughs> Another casualty. Round two. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> 